Hi, I want to do a quick series of videos today about parallel RLC circuits. So parallel RLC circuits are containing resistance, inductors, and capacitors. Not all parallel circuits are going to contain all three, but if we can solve one with all three, then we shouldn't have a problem solving one with only two. So the first step in parallel RLC circuits, step number one, is to solve each branch. Now the key is to just do a little bit at a time and work our way towards the end. Trying to look at the whole question at once is going to be a little bit overwhelming. So if we're trying to solve each branch, we can figure out the current that is flowing in each branch. So in this case, I've got 240 volts and a 15 ohm resistor. I can go I1 equals V1 over R. In this case, I get 16 amps. Perfect. Now, that's easy because it is a resistor. No problem. When I move into this coil, it gets a little bit more complicated because I have that resistive component as well as the inductive component. So what we have to do for our coil in this circuit is we actually have to create Z of the coil, a little triangle. We have to figure out, we have to put our resistive component here and we have to figure out what our XL is. We can solve our XL by going XL equals 2 pi FL. And in this case, we get 10.8 ohms. Once we have our resistance and our inductive reactance, we can figure out the Z of our coil. In this case, Z equals 18 ohms. Now, once we have the Z of the coil, we can figure out the current that is flowing through this branch. We can use 240 volts, which is the voltage across the coil, multiplied by, or divided by, sorry, divided by the impedance of the coil. So we'll go I2, we'll call it in this case, flowing through the second branch, equals V2, 240 volts, divided by Z of the coil here, which in this case gives us 13.333 amps. Now because our coil is resistive and inductive, we actually have a angle here for that branch of the circuit. Now we can solve that angle in any ways, so Katoa, you can figure out the power factor. What I've calculated it out to at negative 36.87 degrees. So now that's the angle of the coil. The last branch is our capacitor. We have a microfarad rating, 66.314 microfarads. So we can go XC equals one over two pi FC. In this case, we get a capacitive reactance of 40 ohms. Now, once we have that capacitive reactance of our coil, we can figure out the current flowing through that branch we can go I3, because it's the third branch, equals V3 divided by XC in this case, and we end up with 6 amps. Now we're going to take these values and we want to place them onto an HV chart, and then in the following video we'll take those values and we'll figure out our current total, and then in the video after that we'll take these values and we'll work with power. 6 amps. So before we put it onto our HV chart, just to refresh, because our 16 amps is across a resistor, it's actually going to be in phase, meaning this is going to be at 0 degrees. We said that this was out of phase a little bit because it's at negative 36.87 degrees, and our 6 amps across our capacitor is going to be at 90 degrees. And the reason we know it's at 90 and at a negative value is because we know in an inductive circuit our current is lagging our voltage and in a capacitive circuit our current is leading our voltage. Well in this case on a phasor diagram our voltage we're going to call our reference because our voltage is the same throughout 240, 240, 240, 240 
Voltage is our reference. I1 is going to be at 16 amps. And it's going to be in phase. I2 is going to be the current flowing through our inductor, which we said is 13.333 amps at negative 36.87. And finally, our third current is 6 amps at positive 90 degrees. So that's step one in our parallel RLC circuits is to solve each individual branch using the opposition to current flow in that branch and the voltage in that branch to figure out the different current values. Thanks for watching. Remember to check out the next videos to solve current total for the circuit and power totals for the circuit. Thanks.